All right, good people. I'm just popping in tonight. This is your boy, the controversial counselor, C2. And you know what it is. Just popping in tonight because remember I said that every now and then, most of the time I set up a show, I'll send out invites and I'll, um, you know, stir the pot from the invite page, post and share to some of my groups. But tonight I just wanted to come on. And remember I said, sometimes I just come on. If something uh, was on my mind. Lynette Patterson, thanks for joining me tonight in the Counselor's Corner. So tonight is one of those nights. Andrika Farmer, Dietrich Muhammad, thanks for joining me tonight. Richie Campbell, thanks for joining me tonight. So tonight is one of those nights. So, so what's going on? Nothing much. Just, you know, want to get a few things off my chest. Brenda Austin, thanks for joining me. If I miss some of y'all, don't um, charge it to my heart. It's just that I want to kind of get this point across. So anybody know me? Um, alias the Controversial Counselor. Obviously, you know, I, I like to bring bring up controversial topics, stir the pot. By trade, middle school, department chair of counseling at a middle school. So you know how crazy my days are. Um, so I also have a show. We'll be going into the third episode called Thunderous Altercations. So the first one we talked about Valentine's Day, then the second one we talked about why relationships so um, complicated. This week we uh, scheduled to talk about interracial relationships. Now I know that it's gonna be a touchy subject, especially because of the race relations we got going on now with 45, the Trumpster, Whatever you want to call him, Reverend Charles Cersei, thanks for joining me tonight. So I posted a couple of things. Now remember, my brand, Cocktail Conversations, has always been about, and I usually kind of stick to the same content areas. Usually I'm covering something related to, you know, family, relationships, friends. Um, like child drama, the dating game, mistrust, loyalty. I'll talk about education, maybe health issues, uh, work issues. Kim Ali Scott, thanks for joining me tonight. So those type of subjects. So, but with the whole thing, it's about, you know, posting content and learning from diverse perspectives. Said you're having trouble hearing me. Anybody else having trouble? Uh, let me see. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Let me know if you can hear everything. Does it sound it sound normal for my end? Maybe I wasn't really talking in the mic. But if can somebody give me a thumbs up or whatever the case is? Hello, Kimberly. And let me know that the sound is okay. I didn't do anything to my mic. It's on the same level it's been on. So anyway, so the focus is, you know, I've always been providing content, uh, pr providing content related to, you know, people uh, giving their di diverse perspectives. Thanks, Lynette. Thanks, Kim Lee. Giving their diverse perspectives, which some people's perspectives is going to be totally off. Tiffany Towson, thanks for joining me. So I made a post, and by all means, when you talk about uh, interracial relationships, you know, mainly I'm speaking on, you know, blacks and whites. Christina, what's going on? Pooh Gloria, thanks for joining me. So I made a post, and 
Hey, Marcia, and happy birthday. Shout out to Marcia. Happy birthday, Marcia. Hope you had a great day. Um, and you say loud and clear. Gloria said hello. So I made a post. Let me just pull it up. So I made a post to, uh, like last, was it maybe last night? You know, I'm always up late posting stuff. I knew that this was going to uh, rub some uh, people the wrong way. But most people who read it, they knew, they kind of said, well, whoever that person is, they stupid, they must got hurt, and just kept it going. But you always have some trolls. You always have three or four people that kind of come in and just make, you know, made things seem like, oh, like I was the worst. Ebony Swanson, thanks for joining me tonight. So, you know, they're commenting. Thing last night it was some comments way, uh, going back and forth. It was a bunch. Wake up this morning, they still commenting, just trying to go in. Now they didn't lost the whole message because they start trying to take personal attacks at me. Mind you, not any of them know me. A couple of them been following me for years, but most of them don't know me. So they, you know, they may seem like, oh, your your post always seem like uh, it's downgrading um, women. How could you? How could you be? How this does nothing but separate us, and we supposed to be coming together? Let me let y'all asses. Yeah, I know I cuss on here. Let me let y'all asses know a little bit of secret. My stuff is not the stuff that's uh, tearing us apart. I hate to say it, it's black on black, uh, black on black hate. We got, and I'm gonna look at it in two two categories that I, I'll say. You got black males hating each other, killing each other over money, you know, women, drugs, whatever the case is. Then you got women that don't know how to show love to each other is so much jealousy and envy and people commenting that's why a great deal of women go to church so they can run their mouths about other women you hear it at work it's clicks and it's it's always constant drama all right let's see what Kimberly said I don't see color we have um through my family all the men have white women are Mexican and I either have a cousin from England Lynette Patterson said true so it's always this hate. So don't try to put that on me because I go through, I read articles, and I pull up stuff. And I say, wow, I love black women. I love black women. That's, I love them. That's all I can say. I'll tell anybody. I was raised by black women, my mother, grandmother, my aunts and stuff. So we had a lot of women on our side. So And they're all black. So some of the things that was posted is not my necessary feelings, but I'm going to post it because you know that the stuff, some of the stuff, like one of my principals said that sometimes you got to um, get, um, you're going to be uncomfortable to get comfortable. So some content areas is going to make you feel uncomfortable. We have to love ourselves first, appreciate our own. True indeed. Sabrina Hill, uh, thanks for uh, joining me tonight in the counselor's corner. Terry Buckles, thanks for joining me. Sabrina said, preach, brother. You don't want me to preach, Sabrina. You don't want me to preach. Michelle Terry, thanks for joining me. JC Wright, thanks for joining me. So let me get to this because that was the nature of it. Because they were, they, were, they were tripping. So what I did... Uh, I had pulled a, you know, a picture of this guy, and I kind of put the commentary with him. And it basically said, I said, another male's perspective on, uh, another perspective on why some black men are in interracial relationships. What up, Jay? Dietrich says, stop lying. How could you not see colors first? This is not real. Um, another male perspective on why some black men are, are in interracial relationships. 
This guy said, black women are the worst women in this country and will destroy a black man any chance she gets. Their attitudes are the worst, but you can't leave them alone because our entire community will shame us. So we date the white girls in secret because she is more pleasing to be around. We actually feel like a man with her, not a damn boy, like most black men feel when being with a black woman. Now that's his damn issue. Because first of all, you're not gonna make me feel like no damn boy, because if that's the case, then your ass got to go. If I notice that's a pattern, you got to go. So, I'm not gonna tolerate that. So it's all based on your tolerance. If you let somebody treat you like a, a little boy, then that's on you. All right, let me see. Bottom line, nothing a white man could uh, do but show me where a black man is. Kimberly, maybe it was the way I was raised and it wasn't throughout my family. Listen, we see color, but I can say this. I got good, you know, I got good white friends. I got good instructors that white that took care of me, took care of me, told me pretty much, David, long as I'm living, I'll write you a recommendation and stuff like that. So they always, you know, maybe because I went to a predominantly white college and I was kind of quiet, low key, but my work um, ethic was one of the things that kind of, um, you know, drew them into me. So I'm not going to sit here and bad mouth anybody like that because the simple fact the only people you can control is yourselves see i'm not going to go in here and pretend like i'm the national spokesperson for every black man because there's some black men that do some evil stuff there's some black men and like i said black on black hate but for some reason you said i don't care how you was raised you live in white america uh and where i said coach monty Coach Money, you know, under his leadership and structure, we, we you know, we went through a lot. We kind of gave him hell, our team, but at the end, we came together and went undefeated and won a state championship. But we couldn't have did it without his principles and his teachings because even to this day, when I coach or do anything, I still think about the lace way. I still remember the defenses and things like that we played. So shout out to Pistol Pat Money on that. But back to back to what I was saying. I'm kind of losing my train of thought. Don't don't mind me. I don't know. It it'll come back. So I think I was mainly irritated because some of the things that they were said, you know, they were going and stuff. Oh, it's shallow. You seem to, you know, again do shows all about women. Told them that don't even know me. KYP know your personnel. So of course me. Here's some of the latest shows I have done recently because it's always been a balance or some of them like is um, in between because the one thing I do understand and I've talked about this before, you can get grants, you can have people doing fake research or writing up stuff. Lisa D. Reeves, Reeves thanks for joining me tonight. But at the end of the damn day, you can go to church, you can do whatever, but at the end of the damn day, we all know it starts from home. So if we have these constant issues at home, how in the hell could somebody write a grant or whatever the case is and think some kid's gonna go to school and behave the right way when he just saw his dad and mother fighting all night or somebody's doing drugs or somebody's selling damn food stamps and it ain't nothing to eat. So his purpose was coming to school was to eat. So how the hell, how the hell that's gonna help? We have issues in front of us in the household. I like to bring up some of those issues because I know that's the only way that they're gonna uh, get solved. And one of the things is talking about them. Yeah, some of us gonna rub you the wrong way. So the hell what? Toughen up or stay off my page. That's what I would say. Stay off because if you're complaining about some of the things that I wrote. Why the hell do you keep coming on here? I'm not tagging you or asking, are you going to chime in? Are you going to chime in? And when I said, didn't Malcolm X change the position about race before he died? 
Yeah, he did. Um, Dietrich Mohammed, you might want to tackle that. I know Malcolm, you know, uh, he was a wild dude, but very intelligent, though. Uh, I said that we discriminate amongst ourselves, even when it comes to some light-skinned women who hate against dark-skinned women, race every day. My reason for saying this is simple, because in today's society in the workplace, it plays itself out in corporate America every day that the dark woman always has to prove herself even if she highly qualified where the light um, skinned women are acceptable whether they are qualified or not think about it well we we know it's a lot of uh um uh, you know truth to that and sometimes people get hired based on hey if they're cute pretty or not so it's a bunch of shady stuff that go on. Big Al Wooten, thanks for joining me tonight in the counselor's corner. So the reason why some of the stuff may seem lopsided, because 80% of the people who particip participate in my stuff are women. So when you constantly got women responding, it seems like it's always a woman's issue. And even sometimes I'm asking for feedback from men, but you have some controlling women that want to respond and don't give the guys a chance to uh chime in do the history of malcolm x even when he started his group he said whites can start their own they don't have to be a part of ours okay and i know i'm a breach from brother dietrich carlos they've been read these books over and over and over about malcolm the honorable boy Elijah muhammad secure farrakhan and stuff like that so trust me I have knowledge in myself, and some of those same books they read, I read as well. I just didn't get um, deep into it as them. So all you knuckleheads who think you know me, and say, oh, he's just doing this, they're doing, I'm doing, it's a purpose behind this, it's a method. So anyway, some of the shows I've done, 10 reasons why some females will remain single. I did the zodiac signs for male and females. Ladies, can you have another truth from a man's perspective? Why some men are not marriage material? Some men, can you pass her test? Meaning, are you gonna be able to handle her rigor of dating? Can you pass her test? Thoughts about men on welfare? Can men handle being a stay-home dad? Ten painful um, stories that impacted my life. It's never too soon to talk about retirement. Can couples have privacy in their relationships when you talk about establishing boundaries? Why do you post children on social media talking about the ill effects of children and you got um, predators all over social media monitoring, tracking things and looking for kids to um, prey on? Okay, that might have been a bad example. Um, what makes you a king or queen? And Dietrich, no, always get on him. And you can try to build people up but some things you got to earn. We just can't hand people titles and stuff and call everybody kings and queens because you got to be worthy of that. And that's just me. People could call, you could call them whatever that you want to, but that's just my take. Um, college is not for everyone, meaning basically, should we be pushing our kids to vocational education, especially our young men, instead of thinking that they're going to go through and write papers on British literature and all this other stuff that, and they're better with hands-on skills. So should we be driving them toward that where they could come out making $70,000, $80,000 as a youngster? Stuff that some of us are not even making and we've been working for over 20 something years. Not saying that's me or whatever the case is and not that's, and that's any of y'all. You could be making more, but the thought of a 20, uh, 18, 19, 20 year old kid making 75 or 80,000. That's looking good. That's less stress on the parent to say, oh, he's all right. He's doing well. It's nothing better to say your child is doing well. And I'm not just talking about well in school. Uh, I mean, well financially, that they know how to navigate the system and they're doing all right for themselves. Tammy Simon, thanks for joining me tonight. What else? When will you put a ring? Uh, when will you put a ring on it? And what are you afraid to have? When, why are you afraid to have courageous conversations? So I have a balance, a slew of topics I've talked about. Like I said, probably did over close to 200 shows um, in these past five years. 
teacher said, we act like these people in the late 60s are not still alive. The same ones who were spraying us down, spitting in our faces are still here. Malika Bozeman, thanks for joining. So to go back to uh, that, so they were kind of just, just talking reckless, just talking reckless. Now, what was interesting about the thing is, you know me, when you're a counselor, you do research. You check things out. The one, the main talker, now I said I was going to call out their names, but I'm going to be a little more discreet. I ain't going to put them out there like that. She went on to say, oh, all your negative stuff. I'm so over these topics, whatever. Why do you... Hey, you know, you paint this picture. I don't even know if she used those words. She's just talking. She was some, something just was going on with her. It seemed a little off. Yeah, a young man can make that much working in a factory. And, and that's true. So she uh, was going on. So I said, let me, let me, let me check out her page. But, but one thing I kept asking her, I said, what topics would you like me to discuss? In a day... In 24 hours, I'm still waiting on that that answer because I said, no matter what you tell me, there's going to be some relationship building apart. It's going to be something to do with relationships or dysfunctional relationships. She never could. Maybe that resonated in her head like, shit, I don't even know what to say. I don't have nothing because he's, he's right. Because usually when you avoid stuff, that means you know uh, – that person is right. And they did a lot of um, ducking and dodging. You're bringing up a lot of great points. When if when and if people put their minds in the right perspectives, there's lots of good that can that we can do together when it comes to understanding each other. We have to speak um, on life's ups and downs. Thanks for doing this. Oh, no problem, Lynette. I mean, that's that's what that's what's the purpose, Sabrina said. My mom and I were just talking about you earlier. And you need to tell me, Sabrina, what was y'all talking about? And Dietrich said, I will call them out. She got the issue. She don't have to, she don't, she got the issue. She don't have to get on your page. This is true. So, so I went on her page. I said, because she couldn't give me an answer. Amber Bolin, thanks for joining on what topics I could talk about. So guess what happens when I first go on her um, page? Guess what it was? Now, all the damn stuff that I post, and I don't give a damn if it was a meme or whatever. It was granny dancing. Granny dancing. Not my granny, just a, you know, older woman. And guess what song was played? And I know this meme is floating around. Excuse my language, ladies. Y'all know I cuss on here. Got the old lady dancing. I'm not a dancer, but the granny, hey, pop that pussy. Hey, pop that pussy. I'm like, what? What? This is the image you trying to depict amongst our older black elderly women, somebody put a meme out there like that and you shared it? I inboxed her. I said, you know, I could have put this on there, went in. I said, but I'm just saying like, wow, you going in on, on me and this is the first thing on your page. Oh, well, me and my sister were joking. Mm -hmm. Clean it up, clean it up. You know, we can laugh. You know, we like to have laughter in our family, babes. Don't come for nobody else when your shit ain't clean. When your shit ain't clean. See, that's the problem. People speak out of turn when their stuff ain't right. And when I post this stuff, they're like, well, you're, you, you're ducking and dodging. Anybody who's been following me, they know what I do. I put it out there. I might comment here and there. But the truth of the matter is, if I put it out late, and then I get up the next morning, I read some comments. I'm at school. Sometimes I'll comment, but I damn sure ain't going to be going back and forth all day because I got kids running in and out my office. So, but usually when I put up material and it's the same thing over, you know, like, you know, over the next couple of days, it's because I'm about to have a show. So I'm going to go live. So I told her, I like to um, put my opinion out there when the lights is brightest. And you know me, I've always challenged people, come on my show. You want to talk all this because I'm not going to get into no keyboard. I'm not going to get into no keyboard uh, war. Come on. I'm right here for you. I, you know where to find me. Uh, Joyce said, yes, indeed. Take care of your own skeletons. Uh, 
Hey, Ebony Lowe, how you doing? Thanks for joining me tonight. Kimberly said, told you she got issues. So, you know where to find me. I don't run. I'm, I'm not ducking and dodging. And everything I put out there, I'll talk about it and I'll explain my point about it. So even to go back to that post I read about the young man, clearly something was going on. First of all, when he said black women, he should have said some black women or whatever the case is. But like I said, when you're talking about, oh, I'm dealing with this person because I don't like being treated like a kid, that's on you. That is on you. That's not on that woman. That's on you. Because if you don't like it, then do something different about it. And that's the same message I give students or whatever. They'll come and if they talk and even I didn't, when I counseled older people, so what you gonna do about it? Family members who say something, complaining about something. Okay, I didn't heard this story. I didn't heard, um, you know, one of my favorite lines. I didn't heard this song before. So what you gonna do about it? When you gonna change? When you gonna change up the song? The narrative or whatever you wanna call it? Stephen Williams, thanks for joining me tonight. So that's the, you know, that's the, that's the whole thing. You just can't go out there doing that, you know, that type of stuff. So if you're going, you're going to put it out there, you're going to talk about something, be prepared for somebody to come back with an answer or change, do something about it. You got, you got to change it up. Nobody's going to keep hearing you say the same stuff over and over and over again. So, okay. So that was one, and then it was a couple more start chiming in, just chiming in. One of them, peep this. I found out why she was upset. So I strolled through her stuff, and what do I come across? Her complaining about her child's father leaving her for a white woman. Wow. Because I asked her. I tried to give her a way out. Is this personal to you? Did I hit a button? I don't know. I'm in a lovely relationship with my son's father. We're doing well. Um, I'm, we're raising my son to be a king and all that. Yeah. Okay. So this this bothered you. Should have just said that. Because also, anybody you know me, I'll let up. I'll let up. If someone says, you know what? It inbox me like David. The reason why, um, th you know, this topic bothered me because of that. I will let up and try to turn it another a way that we can make peace and we can save face. But if you come for me, I'm coming back. That's what I know to do. That's what I know to do from growing up on North Avenue, JC, right now. Like we, y'all know Dietrich, y'all know what that's about. So. And it's not about me arguing with women back and forth. I just calmly comment and whatever. They were the one taking all the shots. I just, you know, had to find a little data just to uh, see what was going on, that they come in for me like that instead of focusing on the issue in hand. Sherry Magwood Porter, thanks for joining me tonight in the counselor's corner. So then the other one, she came in. Oh, yeah, y'all. That's why... Don't mind me. I always got to do a voice, whatever. That's just something I do. That's why I, I stopped following David uh, about a year ago because he got mad and upset. Wrong answer. You came in talking out of terms, saying something. I responded back. But check this out, y'all. So they kept wondering why I was going back and forth, but they kept tagging my name in the conversation. But mind you, a couple more gentlemen came in, and these boys provided data. Or eighty percent of this or that. Uh, some women, the S, uh, their SMV. Remember, I talked about the sexual market value is declined, so they're not. Um, they're kind of afraid to compete with some of the other ethnic groups, so they broke it down. They didn't want that smoke. They 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 kept going back to me and my demeaning topics, which I said really. Uh, first of all, I don't really talk about race. Typically, I just use like gender based. Derek Hall, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, as far as you know, the regular conversation. So, again, that so the one she came in acting like she personally know me. And I think last year she got mad because I was like, You don't know me. You, I met you twice. And guess what? She's a fan of mine. 
And this I'm going to tell you, she's a fan. One of my other friends had told me when my book, book first came out, they were like, um, David, you come to Niagara Falls. I know sometimes you sell your books or whatever. But this is like before I had my book. I was, you know, it was in the making, the draft. She's like, and you, you know, you call yourself having cocktail conversations. Why don't you, when you come on Facebook, say, um, this is, you know, the controversial counselor to come out and have a cocktail with me at wherever you're going to be. Yeah, SMV, SWV, SMV is sexual market value. So I decided to do that. I said, uh, you know, I'm in town, controversial counsel, whatever I said. I said, come have a cocktail with me. I'm going to be here celebrating my, I think at the time, I'd have been my sister's 40th birthday. Guess who there? I don't know her ass from a can of paint. She there. Oh, I seen your post, so I thought I would come out and meet you. Okay, a well, nice meeting you and all that. So everything was fine. She would respond. We had a conversation. We would talk. You know, it was cordial. Then I seen her one other time. She gawking in the corner. I thought that was you. Hey, David, I really enjoy your post and all that stuff. When um, when are you writing your next book? Uh, well, I got it. It just ain't coming out. Or either I was like, I got the revised copy and um, working on some other things. Now today she's showing her ass. Typical. Instead of saying this ain't got nothing to do with me. Sometimes we won't smoke. Black people, sometimes we won't. Sometimes shit don't have nothing to do with us. Again, I'm always going to have parallels to talk about like with kids because some people, some of, some of us, the mindset is the same as a, like a middle schooler. And you're like, what did you have to do with that? What were you going to do with that information? Why did you ask that? I don't know. I just asked. And, and that's the same type of stuff you get from some adults hell you had to do with this conversation but she want she wanted to smoke so and as they say in boxing i want all the smoke i want all the smoke so zilla thanks for joining me um tonight in the counselor's corner so she had nothing to do with it so you know it was just that so i felt the need to come on and kind of you know address this um because i just thought Listen, it's going to be more topics that people put out there. If you can't handle it, stroll by. Do y'all know how many times, and I'm sure y'all know, that you stroll through something and there's women bad-mouthing the black man for this or that? You know what? Like I said, I'm not the national spokesperson for every black person. Some of, some of it is true. Some of it I might fall under, but you know what? I'm not about to go on here like, hey, you said this about the black person, whatever, such and such. This is so demeaning. Guess what? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn because it's probably something I can't control. Only person I can control is myself. So therefore, I'm going to stroll along and keep moving, maybe shake my head, maybe laugh. And I say, oh, that was a good point. But never take it personal. Some of y'all take stuff way too personal, and then when you start – trying to attack people person personally that's an issue because i don't never put people names in it or go for anybody unless they tag me into something but they felt the need to do it and guess what one of them pop your pee she unfriended me yeah because she knew she knew her ass was grass and i was the lawnmower she knew it and the thing about it is it was other women and these other guys, they had agreed with it. And I, I wasn't necessarily, I never gave my stance on the actual post throughout. Cause I said, I, I, I'm gonna talk about it because it was it was the build up till Saturday's show, round three, the epic battle between me and Kelly Renee. Yeah, I already know how I'm coming out, guns blazing with this passion on Saturday. Um, yeah, computer thugs pretty much. And that's what it was. It was a build up to that um, that show. So I was, and I still have a lot of more material. And who knows? I might have me a hit list and catch a new, catch catch a couple tomorrow and go live again. Daniel Alexander Jordan Salter, thanks for joining me tonight. So the reason I was um, coming on this because uh, pretty much, said uh, at home and attacks. Yeah, pretty much was just to kind of speak to us certain things and you know they were trying to challenge 
just my credentials and different things like that. I'm like, man, y'all barking down the wrong tree. I done did a lot of shows, been on some shows, some TV shows, different radio shows, and I'm not going to toot my own horn about that. But just because what you see in a month's time doesn't mean that's everything that I do. If you don't like the nature of what somebody's posting, keep it moving. It doesn't give you the right to come on and kind of talk about somebody personally. That, that That's the end of the story. Uh, she said, but some people don't get it. It's social media. And if it don't apply, let it fly. Yeah, so Denise Towson, thanks for joining me um, tonight in the counselor's corner. Yeah, some people... Um, they don't. It, it, it never, like I said, it'll ne it never bothers me if it doesn't apply to me. Even if it did apply to me, I'm going to take it and say, man, that was some, you know, that was a good point. That's something I'll think about. And maybe it'll marinate in my head and I'll, you know, try to get better. But never I won't, you know, I don't, I'll, I'm not into attacking the person who wrote it or if I know they got it from somewhere else. I'm not going to not going to go in on them cuz again you that's golden rule you don't shoot the messenger but some people just like to talk or like to hear themselves talk and they'll get it and I guess at the end of the day they were trying to pull people their direction but you even had women that just kind of was like man listen there are some um women that's like this the bottom line if you up, you know, uphold your um, head to the highest level. Don't feed into it. If a person, if that's their choice, if that's what they want to make and date outside, that's on them. I'm still going to be fine doing what I need to do. All you can do is respect that. You have to respect that. And even though the content may be troublesome or may hurt a little bit, but you still got to respect it because people are going to have their opinions. So, I'm probably going to get ready to sign up. I don't have nothing else, but stay tuned for more content like this. I'm not going to change it up. Oh, that's another one who was coming, who was talking, big stuff. Oh, David, won't you just listen? Why don't you listen? Listen. I listen. Know why I listen? Because sometimes, or I read, sometimes I'll take some things that was posted and turn that into a show. Well, I'll where I'll talk about it for an hour and a half, two hours. And trust me, I had to grow doing this. Again, no one at work would ever think like, you know, they don't say too much at work. He doesn't say much at work, but for him to be able to do that, and that's what my public, my old publicist has said. She was like, wow, you grown. You, you're in front of that for two hours. She said, you, you barely, you know, you say what you say, but you know, you could be a little jerk at times, but, you know what you're doing. So Denise said it's the verbiage you chose to use. I used the verbiage that was um, given to me. It was quoted. It was from somewhere else. No, I wasn't going to put quote by such and such journal and all that stuff. I'm not in damn class. I'm not getting a grade. Been through all that methods of trying to do all that stuff. So no, I'm not going to do that. So it wasn't my verbiage. I used the verbiage that the guy used, and I wasn't going to clean it up. If you didn't like the verbiage, you shouldn't have, should, could have kept moving. Good night. Thanks for keeping it real. Good night, Lynette. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Um, it's, if like somebody just said, if it don't, if it don't fly, if it don't apply, then let it fly. You're an educator and cover many subjects, and, and that's a good thing. Thank you, Joyce. So I don't have to, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. Like I said, if you want chocolate sprinkles or rainbow sprinkles or whatever, I'm not going to do it. This is the way it was said, and that's the way I posted it. And I took the heat because I don't know, for some reason, y'all must thought y'all was going to back me into a corner and I was going to fold. KYP, again, know your personnel and know that's not my nature. That's not, that wasn't going to happen. That wasn't going to happen. So again, if you don't like the way someone or the verbiage they use, you have a choice. We have choices today. Back in the day, sometimes we ain't had choices. You have choices. 
Good night, Kimberly. So that, that's the moral of the story, and stay tuned for more. These perspectives is from other people, and this is how they feel. And no matter what, you don't have to agree with somebody's perspective, but you could kind of, kind of, hopefully you would want to learn and to uh, learn and grow and say to yourself, oh, I wonder why they think that. So in that case, when, when the guy was saying that he, like, he has a more enjoyable time being with a white woman because black women make him feel like a child, sometimes you may have to look at, and I had a show about that, um, emasculating behavior. Are you making him feel like a child? No man wants to feel like a child, whether he may be acting like one or not. So sometimes we have to practice self-control and say, damn, I know I shouldn't say this to him. I know I shouldn't, even though, even though, even though he may, you may want to say it. Because there's a lot of things that men could say too about certain things. But sometimes you have to eat humble pie and say, nah, uh, I'm not going to say it. He heard it. I have said it to him before. So obviously, like when I was talking to one of my friends earlier that sometimes, um, and I talked about this before, sometimes guys travel the path of least resistance. So if they work or they had in stressful situations, they're going to travel a path that maybe they don't get no slack or get treated like that. You, Denise, you are obviously doing something right. Listen, I try to do stuff right. And uh, people don't, might not like the way I do it, but the great Tony Dungy said, sometimes you got to do things. You got to do things uncommon. You, you can't, you, you can't verbalize stuff. Um, one way you have to change it up you have to know how to kind of engage and spark emotions out of people and i know i can i like lighting fires at, at times but it's never the attempt to um like really hurt anybody or demean any group or anything like that it's just being it's just stuff that needs to be discussed because if we're gonna make if we're gonna change anything it got to come internally inside for us to want to make changes sometimes I'm always keep on. I'm always going to quote him, Dr. Papalardo, Papalardo, a white man, Italian man, whatever. Said sometimes you got to hit people in their head to understand. Said sometimes you got to hit them on the head. And also he said, "Fire us working with kids. It's a game of manipulation. You got to try to get them to do stuff. And boy, do I will try to work that game right. The game of manipulation. So you got to manipulate them to do it. You got to trick them or something so they can." You can get the most out of them. Hey, Martha. Hello, David. Don't let nobody get you out of your character. No, actually, this is not like out of my character. I get amped up sometimes, especially like I'm low key, but there's certain things that I do get amped up and my emotions will get to another decibel, but I'm still, I'm still cool. But I just felt like it was a need to kind of address some of that stuff. Vicky Moore, thanks for joining me. Um, so that that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it. Uh, always appreciate Yolanda. Hey D, hey what's going on Yolanda? My peeps from Niagara University always got love for them. Some of the things and the battles we went through up in Niagara, hey you had to be strong. What would you um, go back and say to the b-ball team at NU who barely acknowledged the sisters because we didn't have cars or was it giving it up? And we know how that was. And, you know, I was kind of like a rebel up there. And some of the, I'm not going to call out her name, but they was like, David don't like white people and stuff. But that, was, that wasn't that was the case. Man, I would, some of them, th th it was just a culture thing for them. They, When you're a basketball player, you want to be, you know, you want to be at the same level with others. So if one of your boys was doing it, even though they knew it wasn't, it was only so many black women up there, but the ones that were up there were beautiful, intelligent, but hey, y'all didn't have cars or whatever. You remember how we used to roll. Y'all didn't have cars. We caught cabs together and we went out and we made the most of it. So, but that was them. You know, you're a big man on campus and stuff. So you think like, okay, let me get with uh, Becky who got this brand new car, let me drive this car around. That's their choice. 
you know, they, they made that choice and they missed out a, on a good opportunity with good fun because we know where the fun was at. We was having fun out in the clubs dancing. They was pulling fire alarms when they were coming in. But that's a, a whole different story. Marcia said, everyone's entitled to their opinions and they should be respected for that, whether it's right, wrong or indifferent. Do you? Of course. Of course. It's, that's just the um, bottom line. You said some of them were uh, hell corny. Well, you know, we know that too. And you couldn't tell them nothing. Couldn't tell them nothing at all. But hey, a lot, uh, I mean, a lot went on at, at college. And some people I had bad relationships with and I had to change. And now we're cool. And we converse on social media. And, you know, held grudges for like three, four years when really it shouldn't have been the case because we could have been. It could the experience could have been much more better, but when you kind of alienate certain a group of people out of your experience over one incident, then you're taken away from yourself, and that's just a microcosm of society. When you alienate alienate some people out of certain things over one situation or something, you're losing out on opportunities. Good times, three M's, great times. Ruth Sunshine, Lay Winstead, thanks for joining me tonight. So all of this, like I said, education, you may not like the way it's presented or some of the topics, but hopefully you understand the point um, of doing it. And you always have the option if, 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 a, if I'm using a quote or something that someone else said and it's not you, then simply state why it's not you and why you think this person is a damn idiot or why she's an idiot. So there's no need to start going into a full attack mode on people because some people fight back. They come back. I'm one of them. I could walk away, but I don't, I don't, he was a great leader and all this stuff. I don't do, I don't do the turn the left cheek thing. I mean, unless, unless it's a case of hurting my livelihood and I'm going to lose, take money off, my plate and ain't gonna be able to live, but for the most part, stuff like this, oh, we don't we gonna go toe to toe. But I prefer you to go come on here to do it because I'm not gonna be sitting there typing all that. I don't have that to do at all. Not all day at least. So uh that's about it. Uh and where I said you went to three M's. Yeah, three M's big time. Great memories, great memories. Three M's, Monte Carlo, all that stuff. Pleasure on good times in the falls. So please share the video. Please share. Get the word out uh, like uh, with anything. Just share it. Uh, and, and, and that doesn't hurt either to share. Again, we don't always have to share killings and different things like that or people getting you know, women getting humiliated or little kids having their little world star fights and stuff like that. Sometimes share information, share content. This might help somebody out down the road. Um, you never know. But the nature wasn't, um, my point wasn't to keep you all night long. I just wanted to get that off my chest. And of course, I'm going to keep promoting my show, Thunderous Altercations, and I'm really enjoying it. It's something that I always said I wanted, somebody that can engage back and forth and we can get our stuff across. I found the perfect person because she's a talker and she's loud and she's intelligent. Um, so when you have that as a woman, that's a as a black woman, that's a powerful force. So she make me hit the gym, get in here, start punching on my punching bag, taking my frustration, like, oh, I got to come back for round episode three. I got to come back hard. So, of course, I'm going to put information out there, stir the pot, but never take it personal unless I tell you that's my view. And some of it, I, you know, I would prefer, I would have, you know, I'm going to wait, we'll wait to Saturday or when I go live to get my view. I'm not, I'm not in the line of business to be, putting words and entertaining people all day. Uh, I don't type 60, 70 words a minute. Actually, I'm still, I might rem memorize the keys, but I'm slow as hell. So I ain't about to do all that. All right. So with that said, stay tuned. I might come with another live show today, Tuesday, who knows, Thursday, maybe not or something. 
I don't know, but I'm definitely going to keep trying to promote this um, show um, because actually, we, you know, we have a team, W uh, PB Media Networks, that they come in there, they film in, posting the stuff to YouTube, sharing it to Instagram. And before I would have to do all of this stuff. So now I have a team that's, we're working together and trying to get this content out there and try to make a difference with these conversations because this is where the world has went to with social media and YouTube and all that stuff, trying to get information from there. Most of us get our news from social media nowadays. Joy said, thanks. I have been waiting on the chance to sit and learn something new every day. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we never get too old to uh, learn. If you, if you say you're too old to learn, it, it, your ass should be heading to um, Rooney's funeral home or something and, or start um, planning your plot and funeral and all that stuff because you might as well be dead if you ain't trying to learn every day. I know that's kind of harsh, but that's how that's how I am. Stay the course, brother. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Yo-Yo. You know, proud of you too. I see you doing big things at, at a great level, at state level and making difference probably with laws and policies and stuff like that. So stuff that would fly over my head. So, you know, that's you. That, that's your skill set. And you're doing well. You and Robert Anderson, my man from Lay Sale, Rob. Chantel Mims, what's going on, family? Thanks for joining me tonight in the Council's Corner. You're joining me, but I'm about to sign out. Please share um, the video and keep it moving. Stay tuned for more content. You know what it is. C2, the Controversial Council. I'm going to keep stirring the pot. If you don't like it, just keep strolling for that day. That's all. That's all. We'll come back, and then maybe the next time you might like something I have to say. But all right, good people, I'm out. Thanks again. Appreciate you joining me tonight. And again, just share, 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 share. I'm out. Take care. Talk to you soon. Peace.